Okay, we're going to take you through the scheduling, uh, invoicing, and payment of a client. So we'll go ahead and we have a, a patient here. So we'll just go ahead and type in his name. We just start typing it in and it will come up automatically. Because we have set a default uh, appointment type as new patient, it's going to automatically uh, be set as that new patient if we have a default. So we don't even need to enter a type. And then if we want to invoice it, all we need to do is select that particular patient or contact. And we go over on the right and we click Invoice Selected Appointment. And once we do that, all the information, including the customer uh, service item description and amount that we've previously set up, will display. If we want to save that, all we have to do is save the invoice and it's uh, saved. Uh, then automatically an email, if we have that setting, will send, send the customer an email if we've got that set up. Uh, to apply payment, there's actually three ways. We can click apply payment. Boom. And what that's going to do is going to set the payment amount, um, the invoice number, and all we have to do is click save. But we're not going to do that yet because I want to show you a few other ways. Going back to the main screen, uh, now uh, we're going to see that we do have uh, an invoice here, the one that we just created. So another way to do it is select it and then just click this little dollar sign icon. That also will enter the invoice number and the payment amount. And again, all we need to do is click save. Once we save that payment, uh, if we have a setting, an automatic email to that patient letting them know the invoice has been paid in full will come up if we've chosen to activate that. When we go up, head back to the invoice and we see that invoice and we're going to go down to the payments information and we see that the payments have already been applied and there's a zero total due. So we're all set up to go. All we would need to do is email, print, or do anything we want and uh, it'll email the patient all the information in a PDF form very simply. That's it. Thank you for watching.